does Destiny do this? How does Borderlands do this? How does fucking Avengers does this? How does every fucking triple A, double A fucking mobile games do this? How in the fuck do mobile games get this idea behind it? And this game can't put one in, in a year and a fucking half. It's been out for a year and a half. This game doesn't have one of those. There's not one. So I had started recording in, in, in Summit and I just started at floor one. And just said, fuck it. Like, I literally, I logged in and, like, immediately just fast-traveled the summit. I didn't see if there was any story about why I'm here or anything. I didn't. I, I really wasn't so, paying attention. I fast-traveled here. I don't know. I, I can't remember if there was a story because I really wasn't paying too much attention. But I know that there was a black screen and a sound of a helicopter. And then I just appeared in the summit, right in this skyscraper, which I think is in New York. I don't know. It really, really is stupid that you can't walk up to the building and then do it. So I have no idea where the fuck this thing actually is. So yeah, I, I decided to jump in and, and just see what it was. And through the first 10 levels, I've seen so much laughable bullshit that I was like, I, I have to go live. Like I can't, I, I'm literally talking to myself and, and like just going crazy. Uh, and, and like, I was recording it, but I was, man, uh, I've got to go live because like, I, I have to ask, is there a point to this bullshit? Well, that's it, huh? Okay. I guess we just start here. I've gotten a couple of access keys, like summit access keys, and I have no idea what they're for. Uh, I haven't needed to open a door. I haven't needed to open a chest. Uh, okay. So a key dropped, but again, what the fuck are the keys for? There was a moment earlier that like. Okay, let's say this is one big long room, which it is, okay? So there's a lock on the inside of a door like this, right? Let's say this door is locked, right? And, and I don't have to get into this room for anything, but that door is locked. I literally shoot out the lock, I run over, I open the door, and then I realize I could just walk in a fucking circle. Like, it literally made no, there was no reason for there to be a lock on the door. Like, it made no fucking sense. And at that point, I was like, oh, I may need to stream this. Because this kind of seems like it might be a shit show. I was on that side of the door to unlock the door to run in here. Because I couldn't have just jumped there. Is there a point to do this? You're going to open a box at the end? At the end of the whole thing? So I'm picking up keys on the off chance that I beat floor 100. There's another key. Summit access keys. Do I need five, four keys? Because I already have four keys. Yeah, I'm still not sure I understand the point of why we're in Summit. Like, I know that we're trying to clear out floors. But I don't know why. I don't know if there was a story to it. Um, I don't know where the summit is, if it's in New York or not, because there was no entrance, like, scene or cutscene or anything like that. Um, yeah, I, I legitimately have no idea why I'm here. As an agent, as a whatever, other than just to, like, like rack up more murders. You beat all 100 floors? Nice, man. What'd you get at the end? Anything cool? And, 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 is there any reason to do it again? You got the exotic chess piece? So is there more than one exotic? Like, here, here, here's the, here's why I ask. Is I'm legitimately trying to figure out if there's a reason to do this once, which evidently, if you get an exotic chess piece at the end, cool, I get that. Uh, is there a reason to do this again? Three new exotics attached to the summit or just three new exotics in this title update? Because I know that there's three new exotics in this title update, but I don't think they're all attached to the summit. So what I'm asking is there is there any gear specific loot to the summit itself? Or collectibles? Or anything at all grindable out of these 100 floors? that I need to come to the summit in order to grind. That's my problem with the entire game, and it has been since last fucking July. If you go to my YouTube channel, I made a, a video, I think it was last July, about how cool the Pentagon could have been had they given it a, a, a replayable content grind loop. 
right? A, a, a replayable loot grind loop, right? A reason to do a singular activity multiple times other than, you know, fucking commendations or something, right? Because commendations, the, the, there's there's very little point to commendations, right? And and other than, than getting commendations themselves, there's no point to commendations, right? Yeah, so only the chess piece for 100 floors. Yeah, I don't, I don't get the point. So there's 100 floors of grindable, like, playable whatever, and there's literally no reason to do it more than once. You don't like heights? I Here's the thing, Imp. You don't have to. You don't have to worry about it, because guess what? There's no windows. It's a skyscraper with no fucking windows. So, like, you can't even see outside. Haven't seen outside once. I don't know if this thing is in New York. I don't know if it's in uh, Washington, D.C. I have no fucking idea. I logged in. I got a well, like a welcome screen that was like, hey, check this out. This is the summit. And so I was like, cool, I'm going to fast travel to the summit. And I did. And then my screen went black. I heard a helicopter. And then I was in the building. Like, you don't walk up to it. You don't, like, see it. I, I have no idea where it's at. I have no idea why I'm here. I If there was a cutscene, mine bugged, and I didn't get to see it. And, and as you see, it's all interior. This could be underground, except for the fact that I don't feel like I'm actually getting anywhere. Because, like, I can't see out the windows, so it doesn't seem like I'm getting very high. You know, like, in, in underground, like, you felt like as you were progressing that you were getting through something, right? This? Every floor feels kind of like every other floor. Some are under more construction than others. You're in the basement only going down? That's the thing, like, I don't even know if I'm in the basement going to, like, okay, here's another floor under construction. Cool. No windows. So, like, I'm on floor 15, but doesn't feel oh look at that there, there's another floor oh here's where i have to destroy servers because they've hacked war dogs but then once i destroy the servers the war dogs die so i don't have to do anything oh there's another key that i have no idea why i'm collecting them cool pestilence did its job thank you i'm gonna be honest this is probably a one-time thing because I, so far, in 17 floors of the summit, I don't think I have one good thing to say. Like, I really I'd say don't. it's laughable if it wasn't sad. Like, honestly, if, if this didn't disappoint me and make me so sad, I, I would be laughing ridiculously hard right now. Because this is kind of an atrocious excuse for content. In, in a modern... 2020 uh, in, a, in a modern 2020 triple a shooter this is content 100 floors of essentially the same fucking thing but with different enemies which would be cool if it was like underground but it's not because remember in underground you had levels of underground to grind there were cosmetics to get as you ground out underground levels you could add different directives as you grinded up those levels and there was all the, the information, right? There, there were like the little info packets, the little recordings that you had to do a shit ton of underground in order to get. Because what? You got two per, like, per thing, I think? But dude, vertically. <laughs> but dude, not really. Like, it doesn't feel like I'm going up. Like, sure, there's stairs going up. But every time I go in an elevator, I could just as well be going back down. Like, I feel like I'm going through the same four floors. Uh, it's underground turned on its side, so all the good shit fell out. <laughs> it might as well be, Imp. Imp, it really, really might as well be. Here's the thing. If you're going to do this, add some fucking windows. Like, you don't even need to make the windows, like, live with birds flying around outside. A window would be no different than putting a fucking door right here. It's static fucking art. But it would at least give me the feeling of getting higher in a fucking building. You would only need 100 pieces of art. You wouldn't even need 100. You could put one every 5 or 10 levels just to make it feel like maybe you're getting higher. Maybe. But nope. I like, it. it it's... It's it's honestly the, the 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 worst excuse for content I think I've ever seen. I, I really, really can't think of any even boarded up windows. Yes! 
Yes! Even a boarded up window would work. Or even, even a window that's yet to be boarded up or, or like a broken out window, right? Like just something, something so that I just don't feel claustrophobic. Like there's nothing at all that makes me feel like I'm in a goddamn skyscraper. Including there was no cutscene telling me why I got here and I didn't actually come to the building. There was nothing. It wasn't even like the helicopter, like when you go to the, the, the Camp White Oak and the helicopter like drops you off and you're in that little canyon and then there's like a fucking bridge and stuff and like you get the idea that you just got dropped into a combat zone like, okay, I'm out in the middle of fucking nowhere. There's trees, there's a creek, there's a river. Cool, let's... Nope. I literally, I heard a helicopter and, and, and I've been in a building for this whole time. Scorched Earth, motherfucker! I will massacre you! I will fuck you! Do you up. think there isn't one single window? Uh, somebody just said, uh, uh, division agent said, uh, floor 100, there's windows. Cool! I guess that's the second bonus to making it to floor 100? You get an exotic and a window. Like, that's your reward. If you make it, if you sit through this bullshit of all of these stupid ass floors, and the stupid ass same floors that we're seeing over and over and over again. And like, that's the thing, at least in underground, like you saw the same areas, but they felt different for some reason. Like I, I always felt like I was in different areas and like you would see that the vault and stuff like that. So like, I, I'm not asking for a hundred different art floors, right? I get that that would be insane to expect on, on a free update right uh, underground was paid update this isn't i i totally can understand and respect that but dude there's almost no difference between any of these floors that i have seen that makes it feel any different than any previous floor that i've been on and like literally with the lack of windows it's the dumbest fucking thing ever like for all i know i'm literally just walking around in a circle because then occasionally there's a staircase, but then also there's occasionally a, uh, like a two floor room like this one that I don't remember if I started on this floor or if I started in on uh, from the, the above floor. And then I just came down and now I'm gonna walk upstairs. Uh, they removed the windows so you don't kill yourself out of boredom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, here's another one of these keys. I think this is four or five now that I have. I have no fucking idea what I need them for. I don't know if I'm gonna get to the top and I'm gonna need a hundred of these motherfuckers to get a chest and I didn't know that so I haven't been scrounging every floor. I have no fucking idea what these keys are for because meh, game didn't fucking tell me anything. There's just random keys lying around. Oh, we get a boss floor. We got a boss floor. Look at that, we're going up. We can see we're going up. We're going up, guys. And guys, oh my God, is that a window? Is that a window or is that an LED wall? Is, is that our first window? I don't know if, the, if that's a window or if this is a if this is a, a meeting room, right? This could be like a big conference room that somebody left the lights on because they're irresponsible. I, I don't know if that's a window or not. I'm assuming it's a window because these look like vertical blinds, but there's like literally, look, like look, you can even see outside past the blinds and there's nothing. It's like we're in a fucking cloud. I <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Oh, look at this. And we've been going up the whole time. Let's go down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're going to go down. Now we're going to go down. So we went up to floor 20 to go back down to floor 19 to go back up to floor 20. Maybe. I don't know. 420 sounds fucking awesome right about I wish I should have smoked before I went live I fucking should have because this I may have to take 10 minutes and go smoke because this high might be fun as fuck did I literally just go down an elevator to go in a big circle and go back up and not fight anything to be on this the 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 same floor hey we're in this room again safe zone. if you want you can come back to haven and take a break when you're ready i can drop you back here you don't have to start over that would suck 
It certainly would suck, because I don't even know what I would be starting over from, because nobody gave me a reason to be here in the first place, but maybe they didn't, I just missed it, I don't know, I recorded it, so we'll see. Um, am I going the wrong way? Oh no, hey, 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 there's loot! Loot! Wait, oh no, that's a gear stash. That's not even loot. I didn't even get loot for the 20th floor! <laughs> in this room we're back in the same fucking room how did we get back to the same fucking room we just fucking room but there was an elevator here let this is legitimate oh no there's a pop machine the other one or did it Fuck, I can't remember. Did the other one have a pop machine? Is this legitimately... The, this looks exactly like the same fucking room, except for instead of a door right there, there was that elevator that I had to go down to walk around a corner, to walk up, to go in a circle, to come back through this door, to fight all the shit that I just fought, to run back around in a circle, to come back through this fucking door, and I'm right back where I started! <laughs> Suck my dick. <laughs> I am the Lord of the Dance. Fuck Michael Flatley, it's me. Johnny Boom, that was the most, the second most perfect sound effect that's ever been played on this channel. That was the absolute fucking best. At floor 100, the canon ending is that your agent jumps off the building. I could see that. I mean, I, I understand now why Imp said this building has no fucking windows. Because that's all I would want to do. Like, honestly, I... When did Division 2 launch? It was March of 2019. So it's a year and a half. And I get it. COVID. But the second raid got pushed out a year later than it was supposed to. Six months minimum. I just came out what? Like when came out in June, right? With how to life day 10. Um, it's hard to love this game. Max Payne, it, 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 it's, it's not. I mean, I, I, I've got to be honest. I think it's impossible to love this game. I, I, I really, really do. And I think the people that say that they love it, love a version of it that they hope it will someday be i i don't know how anybody can love this game the way it is right now i can understand how people can have fun playing it because it's it's fun mindless shooty shooty blasty blasty fucking explodey explodey shit fun right it is uh but a year and a half a year and a fucking half fans of this game have been have been begging have been pleading for survival, for underground, for something, some kind of replayable content loop that has a reason to replay it because everything in the game is replayable, but there's no fucking reason to replay any of it except for like daily challenges and like bullshit, right? It's like, oh, here, here's a, here's a daily or weekly challenge to replay the same shit that you've been playing so that you can get more of the same gear that you've been getting on the off chance that you get a better piece of gear from this loot pool that you've been getting gear from for a year and a half. Um, and then they add this and, and I did, I, I, I legitimately like a month ago when they announced this was coming out, that's why I logged in. Because I logged in, because I was like, you know what, maybe I'll try it out. I loved Underground. Underground was my favorite expansion of Division 1, even though I loved Survival 2. Underground was, I, I always preferred Underground because I'm more of a PvE person. That said, if I go back to Division 1 ever to play, it would be to play Survival. Because I think Survival is still more interesting than Underground is at this point. But, but. They've been hearing this feedback for over a year. I made a video. I'm going to see the exact date it went live. And I don't have a voice, right? I understand that. I, I understand I've never been big enough for anybody 
at Massive to ever see any of my shit. I 100 and I fucking get it. Like, I am under no illusions whatsoever. But I also know... Yo, what is up, H I also know that I am not the only one that has ever said these things. Um... Where's the one I did about the Pentagon? Here it is. It's a long ass video because I talk super slow. Okay, this was October 21st, 2019, almost one year ago. But yeah, the only reason this came out in October is because in July, when I made a fucking video about how to fix the fucking game, I already thought that this is what the fucking Pentagon was gonna be. And it fucking wasn't. October 21st of last year, I put that video out and I said in it, I'll paraphrase cause that's 20 fucking minutes long. But I said, this game needs some kind of replayable content loop. And the Pentagon would have been fucking perfect for it because you've got the server room. You fight your way to the server room. You, you hack into a computer. Boom. There's a list of blueprints. These blueprints could rotate. They could be whatever kind of weapons. They could be named weapons. They could be fucking exotics for all I give a fuck. Anyway, they could rotate. So you go in and you're downloading a blueprint, right? So you get to the end, download a blueprint. While Isaac downloads it, you got to fight off the boss, right? So there's like a waves, waves, waves. Cool, you kill the boss. Boom, you got your blueprint. Then guess what? Now you go into the Pentagon part, like the, the, the other part, right? Because the Pentagon launched with that, that other section. I can't remember, the DARPA labs, right? So then you take that blueprint and you go to the DARPA labs and you fight all the way through to get to the final room where you put in the blueprint and then you kill off the waves of ads that come, you kill the boss, and then you make your gun. And then guess what? If the rolls suck on it, you go back to get another blueprint. It's a fucking content loop. How does Destiny do this? How does Borderlands do this? How does fucking Avengers does this? How does every fucking AAA, AA fucking mobile games do this? How in the fuck do mobile games get this idea behind it? And this game can't put one in, in a year and a fucking half. It's been out for a year and a half. This game doesn't have one of those. There's not one. And the only one that's sort of like it was literally in the game for three fucking weeks. It was in the game for three weeks and then they pulled it out for months. Like what the fuck are these developers doing? I don't fucking get it. Why do they not have a clue how to make a fucking game? Like, I don't get it at fucking all. Ah! But I'm in the same fucking room again! How am I in the same fucking room again? How am I in the... I'm gonna have a fucking aneurysm. I'm like, oh. I told you all I should have smoked weed before I did this. At least then I'd be funny. Instead, I'm just, oh. Do you want? <laughs> but they're not windows. If they're not windows, if they were windows, I could see out of it. I would be able to see that I'm 24, 21 fucking floors up in the air. But I can't, because they're not a fucking window. It's not a window. It's like a boardroom. That they, they, they were like, no, we're just gonna leave the fucking lights on in this giant ass fucking boardroom. A window would be like, this is my whole fucking point. Why? Why? You put in a window. They did it. There's light coming through. It's a fucking window. Why don't they put the skyline of whatever fucking city this goddamn building is in there? It's art. That's all they would have to fucking do. That's literally... That, that, why? I'm doing great, Rob Bell. How are you? Fuck it, Art. Like, oh. <laughs> the skyline would be Des Moines. <laughs> Oh, that might win comment of the night. We are woo. That might win comment of the night. He's so upset, dude. This is it's. I'm I'm, I'm literally. I I don't know if that'll autofocus because it have That's how much I'm sweating. 
I don't know if you can see off my, my bald ass dome. That's how much I'm sweating. I'm. Is the vein prominent? Yep, the vein is prominent. You can see the vein, guys. The vein is there. That's my anger vein. That's my Hulk vein. That's the one that goes live. That's the one that, that, that like activates when I get really fucking pissed. That's it. It's right fucking there. And this game is doing it to me. I'm gonna have a fucking stroke for fucking aneurysm because the Division 2 developers don't know how to fucking make a fucking looter shooter. They still don't get it. A year and a half into the... Hey, Johnny, how was your work day, man? How was your training? <laughs> All I see is a Milky Way vein. And I get it. It's, it's a free update. Cool. You know what they could have done in this? You know what they could have done in this? 100 floors, right? Every 10 floors, just like what I said in the fucking uh, thingamadude in, in, in that, that, the, 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 the DARPA Labs rant, uh, the DARPA Labs Pentagon, Pentagon rant, they could have done something like that here, where every 20 floors, you know, you 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 get to like an office bill or an office room and you hack a computer and there's blueprints, right? Or something. I, I don't know. Put in like Destiny. Every fucking raid has a set of armor specific to that raid that you get, that you loot just randomly. Like, and they've got weapons that are that are specific to that. Put a, a, a gear set that's specific to Summit. And every 10 floors, you get a blueprint. And then on like the 20th floor, 10th floor, you get a blueprint. 20th floor is an R&D floor with a lab. You pop that fucker in there and you get your item. You go up to the 30th floor, you get another blueprint. And just do that. At least then there's a reason to do this. Right now, there's no reason to do this. I'm, I'm on the hard floors now. I think I'm on challenging now. And like... What the fuck is the point? There's no difference between me playing this on challenging and going and playing any mission on challenging other than the fact that I've been in those buildings already for a year and a half. This kind of looks a little bit different. Maybe you get a coffee mug. I mean, dude, even even every 10 levels, like maybe you want to make collectibles, right? So guess what? Have your fucking art department I don't even remember how to how to work this game. Have your fucking art department make a hundred of these bitches and hide one on every floor. Or every five levels, there's a chest with a random one. And you go through to get them. I mean, at least put something in there for people to chase. There's literally nothing here to chase except for the final floor. The final floor, there, there there's an exotic chest piece. Supposedly. I heard it. I heard it. There's another key, but I don't know if I need the keys or not, so I'm not going to go back and look for it because I have no idea what the keys are for because the game hasn't fucking told me. Hey, there's the key. Where's the key? There it is. I saw it on the minimap. Thank God they show up on the minimap. Oh, I thought that was like maybe a restaurant. And like, that's the thing. Why isn't there like a restaurant? Like, why isn't there any rooms that are like drastically different? It's literally four, the same four or five rooms over and over and over and over and over. Oh, and this loot, there isn't even loot! I have literally been in this room before! I'm telling you I have been in this room before. Uh, I can't remember when it was, but I remember for a fact I got in, I got a purple weapon, then I turned around and I was like, ooh, tools. And then I walked right back out of it. I is this another useless locked room? Or is there actually going to be a chest in here? Oh, look at that, we got some loot. Oh, we got some more purple loot. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. I know they scale, so I'm not going to rip on purple loot too much right now. The same four or five rooms over and over and over and over and over. Oh, this loot! There isn't even loot! I have literally been in this room before! I'm telling you I have been in this room they before. They ripped this from the underground levels? The problem is, Johnny, that's my, that's my biggest issue. Underground was better. 150 times better. Which, you guys know how much I fucking hate using that term because it's fucking stupid because you can't have more than a hundred times something. But like, literally, 
underground there was shit to collect there was reasons to do it multiple times you had underground levels you had cosmetic items that you got every so often as you went up levels you had the little recordings to get um you got the directives that you unlocked to you know up the challenge up the difficulty and 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 then hopefully up the gear score of the loot that you got like there was a reason to do it over and over and over again this there's no reason to redo this and 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 I stole this from, I think it was BB. I can't remember who said it on Twitter today. I did see this. But like, so maybe I was just skewed because I had this thought before I came in. I don't feel like I'm going anywhere. Like, that's what I was ranting about the windows. There's no windows. This is a skyscraper. There's no open windows anywhere. So I'm supposedly on floor 23. But for all I know, I'm on the same floor and I just keep going up and down. Like, I, I have no idea. The windows that they did put in the game, they've got the, the fucking vertical blinds closed so you can't see outside. Why the fuck would your art department put in a window and then close the blinds in a fucking skyscraper? This is supposed to be a skyscraper. Like, I just... Uh, I thought you supported these devs being kind of harsh, aren't you? Gitamax, I, I support the devs. I, I've said from the beginning, I support the devs. The, the people that worked on the game, I 100% support. Uh, the people who are in charge of the direction of this game, I don't understand how, how this happens. I, I really don't understand how this happens. It's been a year and a half, and they still have not put in one replayable content loop in this game at all. Destiny literally puts one out every three months. A new game mode. Now, they're not all the, it's not all the greatest content, right? Uh, Vex Offensive wasn't exactly the best in the world. It was kind of boring. Uh, you know, the one after that, kind of the same thing. The one after that, kind of the same thing. But guess what? It's at least a new grindable content loop with rewards specific to it. Armor sets, weapons, etc. This is literally 100 floors of increasing difficulty to get an exotic chest piece at the end and then never have to do it again. So I, I completely support the devs. The devs try hard. The devs want to be proud of the work they're doing. I'm not shitting on the work that they've done. I'm, I'm shitting on the, the, the idea behind the devs, right? Somebody gave the devs this idea. And something tells me the devs were like, really? Do you want me to spend some time actually putting in windows? Like, should we put in a window in this building? Because it's a skyscraper. And players might want to get the sense that they're actually getting higher in a building. And somebody was like, nah, we don't need that. Oh, uh, Also, by the way, same exact fucking room as the 20th floor, except now the door to get out is right there instead of before. Remember that was trash. And remember right here was the elevator that I went down to then go in a circle and then have to go up some stairs to then walk through a door that was over here into the same fucking room to then go through this door to then fight a bunch of shit to go back around in another circle to then come out of this door and then go through the elevator here to go up to floor 21 and there's the same windows but nick this is my point there's no windows in the middle of a skyscraper yes there are i've worked in skyscrapers like no in the middle there's not but on the outside fuck yeah there are and you know what most skyscrapers actually have like open floor plans like at least at some point because that's the whole point of them is like you get the, the office window space. I'm not saying every floor has to have windows, right? I get that there's gonna be interior office spaces that we get to. Here's a window that's blocked. This is my point. And you guys can clip it if you want. You can say I'm being shitty to the devs, whatever, if you guys want. I, I, I kind of don't care at this point. The, like somebody in the art department made these windows, right? And we know that this is supposed to be a window because these are vertical fucking blinds right? So that you can open and close them. They are open partially. So you should be able to see out this window and see that you are getting higher. They didn't take the time to do that. What they did take the time to do is make it clear like a window and put a bunch of fucking dirt on it so that they didn't have to take the time to make one of these every five or 10 floors to give you the sense of getting higher because that would have taken too much time instead what they did and i don't know dick about programming so i'm gonna say that right now but i think i know this what they did is they made one panel one lighted window panel with this pattern 
And I'm willing to bet if I go to the next one, you'll see the same kind of open, closed, kind of open, closed pattern. Oh, no. Actually, oh, uh, uh, yeah, it kind of depends on where you line up because they're all at different angles. But, yeah, you can see the pattern as I run sideways. There's two distinct patterns. There's this one that has two that are, like, more steady, like more solid as you get to the left of it. That These two are the exact same. Right? They're identical. And then this one here has more of the right side that's open when you get to this point. There's just one strip. This is back to number one and number two. This is back to number three. This is back to number four and one and two. It's literally, there's two things. And they did that because that's a hell of a lot easier than making a long piece of art that shows you 24 floors in the air. And instead, and you don't have to do one for 24th, one for 25th, one for 26th. Let's say there's been what, three floors with windows so far? <coughs> Do one every 15 floors. <coughs> Do one every 10 or 15 floors. And you, you, it could literally, legitimately, it could be the same scene. You could even have it on the same side of the fucking building because all of these are on my right side. So cool, they're all facing east. If we're in New York, they're all facing the, the Statue of Liberty. But when you're lower, you see buildings. When you get up to like 24th, you see over the close smaller buildings but you see you know other skyscrapers and then as you get up to 100 floors you see the fucking statue of liberty way off in the distance or whatever that's all they would have like, to there's do. no that's the thing the only reward in this entire thing is an exotic chess piece like that's it and then after you get that if it's a guaranteed drop which I don't know if it is or not I'll be honest about that but if it's a guaranteed drop you don't even have to do it again like, there's no reason to come back into this content. So they spent, and this is why I don't blame the developers. The developers just do what they're told, right? Developers are told, hey, we're going to make this content, you know, program it, make it the best that you can make it. Cool. And they do. And, and they do as good of a job as they possibly can do. It's, it's a director. It's a game director's job to say, we're going to dedicate, we're going to make this game mode, and we're going to dedicate, I don't know, 200 man hours to it or whatever. Two months worth of work. We're going to dedicate two months of work to, to this game mode, right? Out of that 200 hours, people are going to play this for 100 floors, 5, 10 hours maybe max, maybe play through it again. Maybe a few people will do like, oh, I'm going to do a pistol only. That's it. There, there's no replayability. So you just wasted hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of developer hours and thousands hundreds of thousands of developer dollars to create something that in a month nobody's going to be playing because there's no reason to play it that's my whole point everything in this game is replayable but there's no reason to fucking replay it like there's nothing different in the gear that you get in this building than if i were to come out to my map return to washington dc and go run uh fucking the the event center if I go run the Potomac Event Center 400 times or 100 different times, it's no different than running this. Like the enemies in this are varied. So, okay, I would have different or I would have the same enemies every time I run Potomac. But even so, I could run 100 different missions in this game, just bounce, just put on a random mission mode. And like once I finish one, just take me to another mission. That's all this is. This is no different. There's no exclusive gear to this. There's no armor set. There's no like uh, um, uh, cosmetic gear set. There's no fucking like butt danglers that you can put on your backpack that you can collect. There's none of that shit in this entire fucking content. There is no reason to do this other than one exotic, especially because they've got the transmog system now, right? Which I haven't actually even looked into, but like they've got that whole fucking system. So like you could have put those in here and, and had like summit XP and every five or 10 levels of summit XP, you would get one of those, right? I've gained six levels since I started doing this, right? I'm gaining about a level uh, of experience, right? Because you can see my season pass level is level six. So I've gained that in 24 floors, right? So we extrapolate that by four, I'll gain what 25 levels ish if I go through this once. 
So here's what you do. You put in 10 cosmetic pieces. You, you make one like, you know what? Do it this way. Put in 15 or 25. It has to be a multiple of five, right? 15, 20, or 25 cosmetic pieces. It starts very basic, right? Pair of, pair of, pair of khakis or like a pair of like cargo pants, pair of basic boots, t-shirt, jacket, hat, whatever. Every five floors, you get that. The next time you play it through, you get an upgraded version of that, right? They're just cosmetics, but fuck it, man. With the transmog system, it could actually be for your fucking gear. It doesn't even have to be cosmetic because they added that. Oh my God, the gear mod system that they just fucking added in. They could do that. They could have made super cool fucking like artwork for your, for your gear and put in 20 fucking five. It would at least give you a reason to do this five times. But right now there's no reason to do it more than once. Like how, how do I, as a fucking loser that lives in the fucking basement, how do I come up with that fucking idea? But people that make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year can't think of that or decide not to put that in the fucking game. How? How? That makes no fucking sense. I... You could have added those every five levels. You could have made them start off pretty bland, make them go higher. And literally, it's just an appearance. It's literally just an art department. Like, I know it's got to get programmed and all of that stuff, but it's literally just your art department. Like, you could have done 25 of those every five levels. Every, well, no, maybe not every five levels. Every 25 levels, you put one in, right? No, every 20 levels. You put one in every 20 levels, and then you get through the whole thing once. You get one full set of, like, the, the rookie set right or or the 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 normal version and then you run through it again you get the hard version you run through it again you get the challenging version you run through it again you get the heroic version you run through it again you get the legendary version by the time you get to like the last one dude it's like some super badass like fucking psyops fucking bullshit or something right like they could have done that and like it would give some sort of intrinsic replayability to this. I would have a reason to be excited. I'm at floor 25. Fuck yeah, here we go, man. If I get past this, I get to see what that new appearance mod is going to look like. Let's go. And instead, I'm just like ranting and bitching to you guys. I've been yelling a lot tonight, Ginger. I, I've been yelling a lot tonight. <clears throat> My throat hurts. You counted more than two? More than two what? Why? 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 Did you guys see the bulletproof plant? Did you guys see the bulletproof plant? 